Good afternoon, this is Steve from Go Figure Farm. This is a quick video just to compare uh, the productivity of two in-ground trees um, that I have in my growing in my orchard. This is a Rondi de Bordeaux. Um, I've never found this variety to be particularly productive for me growing in ground. Um, however, many people who grow this variety uh, in a container say it's extremely productive. So I've always kind of been perplexed by that. Um, just a quick view. I mean, there's um, there's some branches. This this branch here, which is quite good size, only has one fig that I'm seeing. Uh, this has a, um, a few more. It's actually one of the more productive parts of the tree. Um, this is um, this is uh, the north side that I'm looking at here, and, and actually, I'm gonna have to back up the north side of the tree, kind of. Um, and the south side is over here. I don't really see that there's a big difference in fruit fruiting on the south versus the north. Maybe just slightly a little, slightly more fruits on the on the south side. This one has a few. Um, but for contrast, this is a mount. This is a typical Mount Etna tree. And it's just covered with fruits. Uh, this is a, a um, variety called Shoof, S-H-O-U-F, and um, it's um, I you know the structure of the two is slightly different. This is maybe a little more open, a little bit more sun penetration perhaps on this guy. This one is in, is um, gets a little bit more shade uh, than the Rondi de Bordeaux does. Um, so it's if anything, it gets less sun. So I don't think it's I don't think sun is the issue here. Um, I think it's a variety difference, and maybe uh, maybe the Rondi de Bordeaux would respond better to. Um, a different type of pruning which is uh, going to open things up more so that's that's something going back to this Rondi de Bordeaux tree so right now I have it pruned so that there's something like oh you might call that one two three you might call that six or seven trunks it's probably a bit more than it should be so I think maybe in the future I'm going to thin those out to about half of what's there um, and see if that makes a difference. Um, it is a little crowded. The canopy is a little crowded. It's grown well this year. It didn't have any dieback. Neither, neither of those two trees had any dieback this year. So anyway, that's just a quick comparison of these two that I just wanted to show. It's easier than showing photos. So this is Steve from Go Figure Farm.